Hello, hello everybody. This is Sybil. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share with you some Mary mail that I've received. In a previous video, I did share some Christmas cards that I've received from my crafty friends, so I have more to share with you here. And then I received some Mary mail from my precious friend, Susan Lafferty. So before I get into this, I do wanna say this will be my last video for 2023. Um, I have family coming in for Christmas, and so I'm looking forward to spending time with my family and all the fun activities we have planned. But I will be back next year, and I have some different ideas. Um, well, I have some ideas for different types of videos is what I was trying to say, but I didn't say that too well, did I? <laughs> I'm always showing off my blonde roots, for sure. Okay, um... So if I do receive any more Christmas cards, um, since I'm not making videos, I will post them in a story on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll have a link down below in the description box. Be sure and click on that link and then you can uh, see the cards that I post that I've created as well as the cards that um, I've received since after this video, okay? They'll be in a story. All right, so I think I have these in the order that I received them, and I'm not going to open up the inside of the card, just the front of the card. And this is from, I do have to open this one. I think it's from Kathy. This is from my dear friend, Cha Cha Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Merry Christmas, my sweet friend. Really sweet card here. I love the bling. So, so pretty. She did some pretty layering. It says joy, believe, and merry. Thank you so much. And then this is from Alma, who is Sintang Mayumi, here on YouTube, and I believe the same on Instagram. That is gorgeous, depicting the real meaning for this holiday season, season, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. And so look how pretty. I hope that shows up on my video, all the shimmer and the shine. So sweet. Thank you, Elma. Appreciate that, hun. And then this is from Rhonda, who is, oh, what did you change your name to? I'm not going to remember her YouTube channel name. And she's also on Instagram. But sweet card there. It says Mary. It's got the ornament. And look at all the sparkle. So pretty. Thank you, Rhonda. Randomly, Rhonda. There you go. And then, and I'm going to put the links to everybody's Instagram or their YouTube channel link down below in the description box as well. So you can follow everybody. And this is from Felicia here on YouTube. Thank you, Felicia. It's so pretty. Look at that dove. I love it. And the look at the glitter. Ooh, wee, that is gorgeous, gorgeous. Love the piece. Love how she um, offset it from the gold behind, backing piece behind it. Really pretty. Beautiful. Thank you, Felicia. And then this is from Tina Kappa. Thank you, Tina. This is so sweet. I love this addition of the ribbon up there. Such a pretty touch. Look at these little itty bitty stars and these little like um, gems, I guess you would call them. Look at the sparkle. So cute. A prim heart and then some pink candy canes. I love pink. And look, ging gingham. I love that. I love pink gingham. And then a snowflake there. Thank you so much, Tina. And then this is from... Um, my dear friend Amber, who is Lyric Lover 810, at least she, that used to be her channel name. <laughs> I think she's changed it last year. And once I get a name in my head, because I'm so bad with names, so it takes me a while to remember somebody's channel name. And once I do, and you change your channel, I'm sorry, I'm stuck on your old name. It just, it's so hard for me to remember a new name. But thank you so much, Amber. And then this card came in from my dear friend, Patty. 
So I'm so thankful for all of these ladies, all these sweet crafty friends of mine. And it says, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Look at that, Tilda, so cute. I love her. And look at her cup has a little heart. And again, the shimmer and the shine is beautiful. There's doily and this pretty dye, so delicate. And she's colored Tilda up so sweetly with the bow here and the little snowflake, love that. And then she also sent me some mint chocolate cocoa mix. So thank you so much, Patty. And Patty also gave me a gift certificate to scrapbook.com. So thank you so much, my sweet friends, for all those wonderful gifts and cards and the gift of your friendship. All right, so this is the goodie box from my precious friend, Susan Lafferty. And as you can see, I have not opened it. So I received this a few days ago, but we had bad weather. And I was in the middle of, we had dreary weather, I should say. And that really affects the lighting in my room. And I was in the middle of organizing my Christmas supplies that I have left, as well as organizing my dyes. Oh, goodness gracious. So this table, which is my coloring station, was covered with all these products that I was organizing and putting into pockets. And um, so I wanted to get that all done so I could share this goodie box with you guys and with myself, of course. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this, Harry and David. Susan is so sweet. If you, she knows that you like something, she remembers that and she will um, hunt those items down for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love Carvel and I love coffee and I love Harry and David. My husband and I absolutely love Harry and David products. They are so delicious. Their coffee is excellent. I love this, Susan. Thank you so, so much. And look at the cute little spoon. I love it. Look at this. Oh. So cute. It just makes everything so sweet, the way she packages everything beautifully. Oh my goodness, look at this. I have a couple of ornaments that Susan made hanging on my tree that she's crocheted. So I'm going to see if I can hang this on my tree too. I think I'll be able to hook a little hook, you know, ornament hook through there and then hang it on my tree. Is that not precious? Look at her beautiful work. And look at this, so, so pretty. Handmade with Love by Susan Lafferty. And here's the card. Oh, I love her cards. All right, how am I gonna get this little baby open? Give me just a moment. I've got my handy dandy scissors here. Look at that. The secret ingredient is always love. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Real pretty iridescent sequins. She gave me some of those a couple years ago and I use those on my cards all the time. In fact, I sent her a Christmas card and I use those sequins <laughs> on, the, on the card. That is so cute. Look at the pretty glitter in the background, the paper. And then real tiny little lace here. And then the bow with the candy. And I'm going to read the card off camera. But, oh, actually I can. I can read it here. And I want to show you. I always show you guys this. Her penmanship is beautiful. Dear Sybil, Merry Christmas with lots of love. Big hug, Susan. Oh, so sweet. Oh, yay. Talk about sweet. We got some candy. Yum, yum. And we've got some more candies. <laughs> Ooh, Lindor, my fave. I love Lindor mints. Oh my goodness, I love them. And then look at this Ghirardelli chocolate peppermint bark. How cute is that? Look how tiny, I love it. One for me, one for my hubby. Shortbread, yum, pure butter shortbread. 
Yum, yum, yum. Again, I think there's two in there. So one for me. Yep, one for my hubby. And then some peppermint bark. There's two again. <laughs> so cute. I got to open this one. This is her packaging. These little packages that she's got them in with the little dots. They're so pretty. Look at this bag topper. Just like the card, that little bit of lace. And then the bow with the candy. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> so cute, Susan. Oh my goodness. I've said for years, her um, packaging is also a gift. And look at this cute little snowflake. Now see, I'm going to put a little ornament hook and hang that on my tree as well. Oh! <gasps> I didn't even notice there was more coffee. <gasps> Vanilla creme brulee. Okay, Susan, you don't know this, but that's my husband's favorite dessert, creme brulee. Yum, and I love caramel. We both, my hubby and I both like butterscotch. So we've got the best of both worlds here. Ground coffee, yum. Thank you, thank you so much, hun. And then look at this, how cute. Look at that paper. <laughs> That grandma, she's cute. And then of course, I always keep this because you know, you can reuse it. Okay, I'm just gonna open one side and see if I can slip what's in out. I did it without doing too much damage. Oh, beautiful, pink, fresh, standalone cuts, what's it called? Um, frame builder botanical diamond. See what it does? So you can put them together and make a diamond shape or put them on the edges of your card base and cut like that. That is beautiful. And you know what I love to do with these two though? Those little pieces that you cut out, I like to color them and then pop them back in, put them back in. I love doing that. That's one of my favorite things to do. Thank you so much, Susan. And then look at this embossed, um, embossing um, folder with all these beautiful hearts. And it's 3D. Look, can you see the hearts on there? Oh, I love this. I love embossing folders. They really make a card pop, I think. You know what I mean? They just add so much to a card. Thank you so much. Perfect in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Thank you so much, my precious friend, for all these sweet goodies. And before I let you guys go, I do want to say again, um, a Merry Christmas to you all. And please remember the true reason of this holiday season is that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe on him would be saved. That is my prayer for you. If you don't know the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I pray that this holiday season, you will come to know him. Ask him to come into your heart and live in your heart. That's what Christmas is all about. He came into the world so that we could be made whole and reconnect with the Father. God bless everybody. Merry Christmas and have a blessed, healthy, and happy 2024. Bye for now.